the finals of the mask singer last night had some very exciting reveals. Take a look. Oh my God. There it is, American Idol finals and platinum recording artist David Archuleta. Wow, wow, that's right. Turns out the macaw was the one and only David Archuleta, but this isn't his first rodeo on a singing competition. We all remember his incredible voice from American Idol when he was only 17. So cool. Now, 15 incredible. years later, if you can believe it, he's living his truth and still blessing us with his voice, and he's here live to talk all about it. So please welcome to the show, David Archuleta. Yeah. Yeah. You here, you little man. cutie. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> so during the finale, David, we got to get right into this. You revealed you had a major injury last year that left you silent for three months, and you didn't know if you're going to be able to ever sing again. I can't even imagine what that felt like. What happened, and how does it feel to perform again? Oh man, it it was interesting. I didn't know what it was going to be like coming out of the surgery and not speaking for three months, doing voice therapy wow. to get my vocal cords back into shape. Um, so I, the rest of the year, 2022, I was recovering and then going into singing competition, I'm like, okay, this will be interesting, <laughs> but I, it was a lot of fun. It was very lighthearted, great energy. And it was you, you, even silly, right? You're into this big bird costume <laughs> where I looked at, he's flying around the stage. And so it, it made it a lot less pressure than any other competition <laughs> I'd ever been in. So. I had so much fun and they had great voice coaches on the show as well. That's very helpful, actually. All right. Some of the clues you gave as the macaw and the mass singer were related to you coming out as part of the LGBTQ plus community. Mazel tov, first off. How does oh, it feel to be back performing on TV without feeling like you have to hide a part of yourself? May I even say unmasked to be no pun intended? You did. Say I did that, say right? I, it, was, I it was a perfect pun. It was a pun yeah. and it was intended. Yeah, was Sorry. <laughs> I, you did that. I, I feel like the, the macaw allowed me to kind of transition into that because I was so afraid. I had such a specific image before I had come out. I was very reserved. I grew up very religious, very reserved, and basically ashamed of myself. I never wanted to, that to be revealed to anybody, including myself. Mm. So it was really hard for me to come to terms with it and then to like show it right. to everybody and then perform live again on TV. The macaw really helped me to be comfortable doing that. I mean, because wow. the macaws, big and loud and red, so <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I got to be the McCall. That's awesome. Hey, man, That's awesome. I love it, and there's nothing for you to be ashamed of. You, uh, What an incredible career. But I have to ask you. you, were there any clues where you like, come on guys, they're gonna know it's me? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I think maybe say, mentioning that I had been on a, a competition before, uh, giving clues that I was a singer, so I was like, okay, he's he was in a singing competition. Um, I'm not really sure anything else. Maybe my diehard fans would know like the quesadilla uh, <laughs> story that my parents coaxed me into singing for the first time through food. I'm a big foodie. Yes. And you can still probably get me to sing if you give me some good <gasps> food. But Do we have food in the studio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you. <laughs> That was actually a, a way to keep me on the news station is keeping me for the cooking segment. I don't cook, <laughs> but I would love to try the food, but I don't know. That's I don't have a lot to offer in relationships either because I don't I can't cook for my significant yeah, other. But you can sing you can, while yeah. they're yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. I'll serenade yeah. you as you're mixing you're um, cooking those mushrooms. That's right. Grilling yeah. them. That's all you need. Dr. Yeah. Tell Toro. So David, talk to us, man. <laughs> How much rehearsal time did it take for you to learn how to maneuver and perform with excellence in that costume? Uh, it didn't take too long. They didn't give me a lot of choreography compared to other performers. I was like, oh, I was like, I wouldn't mind if you gave me a little more to challenge me, but I really couldn't see very well with that big macaw mask. Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't really maneuver very well because I had to move my whole torso to be able to look left, yeah. left or right because the head was so big, I couldn't really look up and down in it. But uh, otherwise, I, I tried to like move my feet. I tried to like, <laughs> with that, uh, dance one there direction one, I was like get to doing some twists and like jumping and all that. That was probably my favorite number to do, by the way, on the show. It was so much fun. I couldn't even hear myself because the audience was singing so loud wow. in a lot. 
that song. They were really getting into it. That's the best. You crushed you it, man. That's it. awesome. I know. I know. <laughs> he soared as the macaw. I was I was waiting. I'm like, is Tori, if I had to put money down, I would have won. Did you see his face? David, thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations. <laughs> we loved chatting with you. Daniel awesome, Nation, David's new single. Thank you for having me. Of Absolutely. course, it's our Great honor. And his new single, Up, Color will be. Energy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, to our viewers, make sure that you get his new single, Up. Uh, it'll be released on June 2nd. Thanks again. We'll be right back. Hey, come thank back you. soon. Congrats. Congrats, buddy. Absolutely. Thanks. I would love to come back. Oh. Yes, yes.